Warning. This video is not for minors. The characters used in this E-Federation have all given their consent. This material is make-believe and has been rated M for mature. If video game violence offends you, please click out of this video now. 18 and older only, proceed with caution. Thank you. Coming to you live from Orlando, Florida, tonight we have got Boston fan taking on David Rivera in a number one contender match for the IC title. And before that, we've got a double debut here tonight with Gavin Fletcher taking on Chronic Remorse. And there is Gavin Fletcher right there backstage warming up, getting ready for his debut. And Gavin Fletcher said he's here to romp. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, whoa. Joe. Is that, is that Chronic Remorse? Remorse? And he's just Dave. attacked Gavin Fletcher from behind with a jumping face crusher there. Unbelievable. These these two are meant to be having a match sometime in the next five minutes. But Chronic well, it, Remorse. It looks like they didn't want to wait for their match, Mr. D. Well, it looks like Chronic Remorse didn't want to wait, at the very least. I don't know what to do here, Joe. We've got no referee out here. I would make it a backstage fight and just have it. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we'll have to do this match another time. But let's see what happens here. As Chronic Remorse is unloading. Oh yes he is. Oh yes he is, Mr. D. Doesn't seem like a very friendly newcomer here in the YTWE. Well I'll tell you what, I pulled him in personally because I knew I needed a man who could light fires under people's asses and that is what he is doing right now. He's lighting a fire under Gavin Fletcher's ass. Cause I'm telling you what. If this don't piss him off, I don't know what will. But Qu Qu Chronic Remorse has got oh. David Fletcher and just drove him through that table. Oh my through that days. fucking table. That was a dirty move there from Chronic Remorse. What a, what what a debut. What a debut. Absolutely. <laughs> Before the break, Chronic Remorse attacked Gavin Fletcher in the back. So right here, next week, we are going to have those two in a backstage brawl match. But first off, we are going to go and hear from David Rivera before his big match with Boston Fan in the number one contender match for the ISC title. Well, I guess all of you are definitely surprised about me being in the gorilla suit. I was just trying to have some fun with Dark God and everything, and pretty much in a way, I guess you can say, earn a little bit of respect from him by being able to face him a couple of times. So, we're basically pretty much even at this point, and, uh, you know, Brett with Jeff didn't really appreciate that, and I do appreciate Boston Fan 79 if you want a good buddy of mine to be able to help me out, but... There won't be any more laughter, there won't be any more jokes, because it's now it's time to get serious and facing things head on here. Because even though me and Boston Fans 79v1 are friends, we are looking to be able to try and get the Intercontinental Championship, and that's something that I really want to focus on. So, I won't be in a gorilla suit or anything this time around. That was all good and fun and everything, and got a little chuckle out of that. So, uh, that's basically put behind me as of right now. So, to be all serious... I am going to get the Intercontinental Championship. I know Boston Fan has been able to have it before, but now it's my turn to be champion. And it will happen right here in YTWE. And here we go. This is our main event tonight. Boston Fan versus his friend, his brother, David Rivera. And this is, oh man, look at that. Lupus first straight in, pounding him, straight in the nuggets, kicking him in the back. Joe. We was going to go in slow, start building this up, but David Rivera has not given us any room to do that. He is straight in there, 
I'm a Boston fan. Big backbreaker. Fucking hell, Joe. I, I don't blame David for going straight in and attacking the way he did. Fair enough, these guys are friends. But at the end of the day, Boston fan is the former Intercontinental Champion. That's right. And this is our number one contender match for Rant with Jeff's Intercontinental title. And both of these men want it bad. Boston fan, maybe a bit more than David, but I know David really has got a big fucking point to prove tonight. Oh yes, absolutely. And this is some great technical wrestling here, Joe. Oh yes, that as well. But Boston fan, ever since he lost his, well, or lost the Intercontinental Championship, it seems like it's affected him in the ring somehow. He definitely has hit a kind of slump since losing it. But I've been saying to him, come on, just keep focused, keep going. But this match right here is all about Boston fan overcoming certain barriers. And again, Joe, I've got to go back. There is some amazing technical wrestling going on in the ring right now. Boston fan slowed it down and brought it back to his pace. But that, that is what the Intercontinental Championship is all about Mr. D. It is all about great wrestling, great technicians in that ring. Well David Rivera doesn't seem to think so and Dark got up <laughs> on the apron. We <laughs> gotta go to Edward Joe. Check out E Wrestling Torch's website, Facebook, and Twitter account. And a lovely Russian leg sweep by Boston fan now. Arthur getting back in from the outside. And he's going to the top rope, Joe. He's oh, going to yes, jump yes, on Mr. Rivera. Oh, and David oh. Rivera moves out of the way of that big massive leg drop. Lands on his ass, but he's straight up. And a massive clubbing forearm to the chest of Rivera. And Rivera with a jumping jawbreaker there. Back and forth action here, Mr. D. Got some fan block that punch. Brings him in. And Second another Russian leg Russian sweep. Leg sweep. You called it, Joe. <laughs> oh, Super that's a kick. Good kick. That's Super fucking just stood kick. him up and kicked him straight Thanks. in the face. One, two, two. Oh, oh my face. You know. Got some fan looking for that win. Looking to become the number one contender for that IC title that he values so fucking much. Absolutely, and I would value it exactly the same way. But obviously, Boston fan has had the title, had the title for a very long time, and it meant a lot to him. He's setting Rivera up here again. Another super kick, right? Oh, fucking oh, hell! Oh my days! He just took his head off. He's going for the cover one. Fuck Two. Me. Oh, another close pinfall there. Shit on a stick, Joe. He nearly just lost his fucking head. <laughs> Absolutely. That was a dirty clothesline from Boston fan there. But David oh. is up again, fighting back after a super it kick and a big massive clothesline. Well, I'm telling you this. David Rivera said it is enough time for fucking around. It's time to get serious. He's got Dark God out there in his corner. And I know Dark God is looking at Pendulum. He just did that fucking Pendulum DDT, Joe. He's this down. Is it. One. One. Two. Oh. Man, that was fucking another hell. close. Another close pinfall there. Sure was busting fans up. That Pendulum DDT, we know has put people away in the past but these two counter for counter look at that lovely jumping neck breaker by Boston fan down for the cover and, and a kick out by out. Rivera David is showing and proving not just to myself but I'm sure everyone who's watching this how resilient that man actually is he's showing that that fight that he keeps talking about he keeps saying, watch me move. But you know, Joe, we haven't seen him move too far off of the floor so far. 
but this match could be step up. Absolutely. I mean, if you could beat Boston fan, that is a Bang, massive Bang! Back of the fucking head with that elbow. You're yeah, right, sure, yeah. yeah. And Boston, and Boston fan. fan. He's, he's setting he's David setting up again. Up. Here he comes. And Bang. he hits it. Fuck you. Where? Right in the face. And he's that dragging him. And you know that he's going to go for the cover. Because that's what you do after a finish. He's over. One. Boston fan. Two. He's a new oh. David kicks oh. out. David fucking Rivera. My days. My days. This kid has got some heart. And you know, some of it has got to do with the fact that Dark God is out there now giving him some advice. Absolutely. That's a good man to have in the corner. But Boston fan is setting David up here again. And he just super hit another kick. super kick. That is the third super kick, Mr. D. And he's going straight for the cover. One. One. Two. two three. Oh. No. How was that? Not a fucking free Boston fan cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. And you know what? I don't think Dark God can believe it either. I can't believe it, Mr. D. Three super kicks and a man kicks out. That is unbelievable. And he can... Here we it's, go. He's going for the kill switch. Then he hits Bush. it. And he's going for Wait, the cover. First. Come on. Come on, Boston One, fan. One. Two. two. Oh, oh, man. man. Giddy on. You know, Thank I'm you not help. supposed to have favourites here, Joe, but I have been working with Boston Fan since the relaunch, and I really need to see that he is ready to go up against Crow at the end of the month, too, and the Rivera kicking out. But I need him to be ready for that Falls Count anywhere, anywhere match with Crow at the end of the month. Yeah, absolutely. And a nice Mitchy Nuka driver there from David Rivera. Picking Boston fan up, not going for the cover. Pendulum! pendulum. Another pendulum DDT! He's down! That bonnet that, on the is floor! That enough? Is that enough to pin the former Intercontinental Champion? One! Two! Oh! Freaking hell! Come on, Boston fan! You can do this, brother! You know that Boston fan wants this win, Mr. D. You know that he wants to be the Intercontinental Champion once again. And I told him the only way he's going to do that, the only way he's going to beat Crow in that Falls Count Anywhere match is if he can get past certain emotional barriers and putting him in there against his best friend, his brother, in a number one contender match for the title they both want so badly he's going to give him a chance to break down those barriers. Absolutely. To fight Crow the Omega, you have to get into a specific place. You have to be almost on the same level as him. Yeah, I'm telling you, I went in there. I had the right head about me, but you know what? I just wasn't vicious enough. I needed to go go to those weapons more. I needed to oh, do I just more hit damage. That line again, Mr. Holy D. shit! That was <laughs> One, massive. Two. Three, and, and he's done it. it! He's done it! We have got a new number one contender! Fucking hell! That clothesline took the head right off of David fucking Rivera! We just watched him move, Joe! We just watched him move about six foot across that ring! Absolutely! We watched him move, but unfortunately not up in the rankings here in the YTWE. And you've got to think that clothesline is like a double impact. You've got the, the forearm and, and the bicep going across the face. And then the back of the head, the back of David Rivera's head, hitting that mat. Well, the guy had taken multiple super kicks. It's any wonder his jaw wasn't hanging like a drop pie. But I tell you what, that last clothesline must have knocked the fuck out of him, Joe. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I, again, it wouldn't surprise me if the man had a concussion from that. That was a dirty clothesline. And all them super kicks as well that he kicked out of. Unbelievable. Well, there is our new number one contender for the IC title, Boston fan. We'll see you Saturday for Rent with Jeff and Dark God in the Steel Cage.